Scott's Wild Camper, the wild camping channel for the great outdoors. Back in Kilpatrick House with the one and only Matt. Hiya. <laughs> Going back to the same place so I went to in Wild Camp 21. Matt's got his hammock and I took my new tarp. Try that out. I'm not going to shoot that much going up the hill because you've seen it enough times in my vids. Matt will shoot some more I think and that will be in his channel. Right, that's enough for the now. <laughs> that's us at camp. If you've seen my Wild Camp 21 you recognise it. Matt's putting his hammock up there, somewhere up there. I'm putting my new tarp just just about there in the middle of the screen. I was wanting to put it in the in amongst the trees but the ground's it's not suitable. So right we'll set up set up camp. There's my setup. That's everything out that I need. Matt's got nearly finished with his. Well, 10 minutes, I think. There you go. Sill top 2. Double guide the pole. And a ground sheet for Halfords, and that's me away. I think I'll make, I'll make me and Matt a cup of coffee. Right. I'll talk to you later. Oh! <laughs> My dry bag. He's showing us his set up. Homemade whippy slings. Only a sort of cheap carabiner type thing. It's a screw gate thing. They're really cheap but they're good. Just a wee loop with the original webbing, went in my hammock. Uh, a couple of sticks holding the net in oh, so you need <laughs> mine, don't, mine don't come with the wee poles. Ah, oh, mine's come with the, the poles, but sticks so same I idea. Just got a couple of sticks on mine. Um, and a uh, uh, couple of Mary Lees on there, right, tightened up. That's my ridge line, I've got a big thick clip ridge line. Aye, what size are they? What size? That's a 5mm. I think it's 5mm, I think five it is, it's strong. That. That's me, no matter anything in it yet, but that's it set up, ready to go. Right, go and sit on it. Quick, my battery's nearly it's at one bar. Do a 180, come on. There you go. That's me set up for the night. Well, once I get my mat in it, oh. that's been good to go. Two mats in it the night. <laughs> Two mats. <laughs> Right, that's you. Success. Success. Set up a wee bit longer than Eddie's set up, but get there. I'm the butler, look. I'm the butler right enough. He's lying back. Thanks, I'm over these. There's a couple of wee insects in that. That's all right. That's You're lucky. I've not got any in mind. Where's that hole again? Oh. There you are. I'll show it later. Yeah. <laughs> but he melted a pot on his poncho or his ground sheet. Is it a tarp or a ground sheet? It's a cheap thing. Right. <laughs> Melted the hole. Oh, right. <laughs> yeah. Oh, what a day. Well, this is much better than my last two trips. Right. Weather-wise, the last trip with Stephen Kilvana, as you saw, have you seen it? Torrential. 
<laughs> and then up the, where did I go up? Ben, Ben the Lark. Ben the Lark. It was, it wasn't too bad. The rain was, it was in the tent most of the time, the rain, so it was all right. Hi folks, welcome to the first official Eddie's Wild Kitchen. I'll show you what I've got in a minute. Right, I'll tell you what I've got. Pork chops, or pork steaks in there. Tomatoes. Mushrooms. Onions. That's for my, my tea the night. I've got sausages and uh, sausages and egg for tomorrow. Chops on first. Fuck, we'll take along with this go. Fucking hell. Some mushrooms in. Some onions. Looking good folks. Right, I think I'll put the tomatoes in. Put some tomatoes in. Get some sauce. How's that looking, folks? Not bad. Not bad at all. I might just land it in my fucking eye. Stuck. Oops. A bit of salt and pepper. Mmm, absolutely fantastic. Really good with the tomato, so the tomato, the juice of the tomatoes, a bit of chop. Mmm, great. Oh, 
bothered to give Matt a chop, but he didn't want one. Maybe next time he'll... I don't think he trusted my cooking. <laughs> but this is great. Oh, he's had lamb chop. I made him lamb chops before. Ages ago. One of the first wild camps we've done. Right, I'm going to switch this off because this is too good. I'm going to enjoy it. Pork steaks, mushrooms, onions and tomatoes. Bit of salt and pepper. Fantastic. Absolutely great. I might take uh, the custard after that Mark gave me. I'll take that maybe half an hour. I'll have custard and a cup of coffee. That was scrummy. So more goodies tomorrow. More fry up tomorrow. Right, I'll talk to you later. I'm getting eaten with midges here. Yeah, it's got a wee bite to eat there. That's quite a tasty morsel for that. It's giving me the evil eye. Hot, hot chocolate. Like the slender hot chocolate wrapper. <laughs> See what's in it good in there. Nah, it's obviously not. Nah. Having a lick at the inside of the wrapper, I think. I'll end up stuck in it. I'll end up stuck inside the wrapper. I thought the midges were away, away there. They were away for five minutes, but they're back. Matt's in his hammock. Just like to wish Raf to Germany, Redneck Rhineland. Hope he's having a good overnighter. Probably just sit outside here and relax for half an hour before I think about hitting the sack. Fantastic up here, it's just the midges are, as always, you know. If it wasn't for the midges, you'd want to, wouldn't you want to move through here? <laughs> Stay up here. I'll be back here in the winter. Uh, obviously on the hills up here. Hopefully we get a good lot of snow. In the winter time I'll probably be at this bit. I don't know if Matt's coming. Try a winter, a, you know, a genuine winter. Cold weather hammock camp. I'll do that. As I say, I don't know if Matt is coming, but I'll be doing that myself anyway. Just seen a fish jumping out the water there. Right, I'll say good night or cheerio for just now.